In order to solve problems and determine the unknown forces on a body, physicists will often make a scale drawing of all the forces acting on a single body. This is called a free body diagram. The forces are sometimes drawn to scale to show their magnitude, but always include an arrow to show their direction. Notice that all the forces are drawn from the center of the mass of the box. Usually when we draw a free body diagram, we single out a specific object and draw only the forces acting on that object. In this presentation, I will discuss the free body diagrams for objects at rest. The picture on the left shows a 10 Newton lamp on, at rest on a table. The free body diagram for the lamp has a 10 Newton force of gravity on the lamp that acts downward. All objects at rest have a net force of zero, so the table must exert a 10 Newton upward force on the lamp. Look at the man sitting in the chair. The free body diagram for the man includes a downward weight force and the upward force of the chair. The man is at a state of static equilibrium, therefore the upward force of the chair on the man is equal to the downward weight force. The technical term for the table's force on the, on the lamp and the chair's force on the man is called the normal force. A normal force is the upward force that supports an object. It is always drawn perpendicular to the surface where the two objects meet. When an object is placed on a horizontal surface, like the last two examples, the normal force equals the weight force. The red force in this animation represents the weight force of the yellow box placed on the ramp. As you can see, Part of the weight force causes the box to press on the ramp, and part of the weight force is directed down the ramp. When a box is placed on a ramp, the box presses on the ramp with the same force that the ramp presses on the box. The ramp's force on the box is called the normal force. When the ramp is flat, the normal force is equal to the weight force. When the ramp is 90 degrees, the normal force is equal to zero. The box does not press on the ramp. The larger the ramp angle, the smaller the normal force. The smaller the ramp angle, the larger the normal force. Let's look at the forces acting on a box placed on a ramp. Which force shown here represents the weight force? Force B points straight down, so it is the weight force. Which force is the normal force? The normal force is the supporting force that the ramp exerts on the box. C is the normal force. The normal force is always drawn perpendicular to the surface where the box meets the ramp. D is the friction force and is the force that opposes the downward motion of the box. A is not a force that acts on the body. Let's review this one more time. The weight force is the orange force since it points straight down. The white force is the normal force, the ramp's force on the box. The yellow force is the friction force and is parallel to the ramp and it's the force that keeps the box from sliding down the ramp. On a ramp, the normal force is always smaller than the weight force. Once again, on a ramp, the normal force does not equal the weight force. The normal force is less than the weight force. A one kilogram box is placed on four ramps. Rank the normal force from largest to smallest. The normal force is the ramp's force on the box. The smaller the ramp angle, the harder the box presses on the ramp, and the harder the ramp presses on the box. So the largest normal force would be ramp A because it has the smallest angle. The next largest normal force would be B, followed by C and D, which is the steepest ramp. A box sits on a ramp. 
Which choice shows the three forces that act on the box? The answer is choice A. Fn is the normal force. Ff is the friction force that prevents the box from sliding down the ramp. And Fw represents the weight force or the force of gravity. This points straight down. A truck sits on a ramp. Is the normal force equal to 1 times 10 to the 5th newtons, greater than 1 times 10 to the 5th newtons, or less than 1 times 10 to the 5th newtons? We know that the answer can't be choice A because the only time the normal force equals the weight force is when the truck is on a horizontal surface. The answer can't be choice 2 because, or choice B, because when an object is on a ramp, the normal force is always less than the weight force. The answer is choice C. The diagram below shows a sled and a rider sliding down a snow-covered hill that makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. Which vector best represents the direction of the normal force exerted by the hill on the sled? The normal force is always perpendicular to the surface where the two objects meet, so the answer is choice B. A scale drawing that shows all the forces acting on a body is called a free body diagram. When an object sits on a rigid surface, the upward supporting force on the object is called the normal force. When an object is on a horizontal surface, the normal force equals the weight force. When an object is placed on a ramp, the normal force is always less than the weight force. This is the end of part one of free body diagrams.